Artificial intelligence still has a sci-fi ring to it. But the fact is that it's already behind a lot of our digital lives, from Netflix's movie recommendations, to Amazon's shopping suggestions, to Gmail's spam filtering. Almost everything you do on Facebook or on Google or on all of the others, essentially there is an AI system uh, behind it. Jan LeCun has been studying artificial intelligence for more than three decades, but now he's taking on a new post. He's going to be Facebook's first head of artificial intelligence. It's the company's bet on the future and what it plans to do with, well, all the data it's been collecting from us. Until now, Facebook was focused on getting the infrastructure right, but now that they are established in their position, the, um, the, the problem, of course, is to look forward 5, 10, 15 years from now. And so there's been a talent grab among tech outfits. AI is going to play a very, very important role in the way we interact with computers. And there is a bit of a race right now between various companies to kind of establish themselves in this field. Recommendation engines are nice and all, but that's old hat to today's AI researchers. The next step in the field is using AI to improve a computer's ability to see and hear. We feed the image to uh, the webcams and we feed that to the network and it tells us what categories of objects it thinks it, it's seeing. Loafer? Loafer? Eh, mm -hmm. close enough. It's a Chelsea boot, but you know, okay. I'll go with loafer. How would something like that apply to my Facebook experience in the future? Okay, so you upload pictures on Facebook or Instagram and the system will identify the objects that are in your picture. So that makes it much easier to search. It will allow us to also organize your, your pictures in a way that uh, similar pictures are shown nearby. So more sophisticated sensing abilities, an idea of what you want before you've even indicated it. Oh, and yes, they intend to use it for another really cool application, making money. Sam Grobart, Bloomberg, New York.